hi everyone welcome back to sahab academy today in this fifth video of depreciation chapter we are going to understand what is the procedure that we have to follow in accounting when we sell our tangible fixed asset or technically in this chapter you can say property plant or equipment yeah when you sell this when you dispose this off what is the procedure what you have to do in accounting that is what we are going to understand in this video okay so let's begin now see here how simple this is first let's just understand little bit concept about this and then we'll move on to the accounting procedures the calculation and the treatment and everything right so see this property plan and equipment we all know it is not meant to be resold in the ordinary course of business whatever we sell in the ordinary course of business that is just inventory yeah for example let's take an example and understand this properly let's just say you have a car showroom and for that car showroom you have purchased furniture computers and you have purchased some cars also right so now what will happen computer and furniture are meant to be used in the operations of the business okay so that will come under property plan and equipment that will come under ppe but these cars which you have purchased will not come under ppe because cars are meant to be resold in your business but let's just say you have purchased two cars which will be used in the operations of your showroom then those two cars will come under property plan and equipment so do you understand the logic what is your intention what is the intention of the management if the intention of the management is to use the asset to use that tangible fixed asset in the operation of the business then only that will come under ppe if the intention is to you know sell them in the ordinary course of business then that will come under inventory is that clear but still still there may come a time there may come a time when we have to sell the property plan and equipment see here ppe are not meant to be sold in the ordinary course of business yeah that's that's true as it is not inventory but due to some reason due to some reason we may sell it even before the end of its useful life yeah we may have to sell those furnitures or those computers maybe they will they are outdated or maybe the furniture is not up to the fashion right so we may have to sell them even before the end of its useful life it can happen new technology has come yeah maybe there was a fire or some accident due to which the asset has been damaged so we may have to sell them even before the end of its useful life okay so that's the thing regarding the ppe we can sell them we may sell them even before the end of its useful life is that clear right now let's just understand what are we going to do when we sell the ppe from the accounting perspective you understood why it will be sold and all now let's understand from the accounting perspective what we have to do see three things you have to do when you have sold off your tangible fixed asset or property plan and equipment let's take an example and understand let's just say for example you had a machinery and you sold this machinery on 1st september so now this is your date of sale this is your dos right and the beginning of the year let's say was 1st april so first what you have to do is you have to charge the depreciation from beginning of the year to the date of sale beginning of the year to the date of sale yeah in this example from 1st april till 1st september april may june july august five months depreciation you have to charge why not september because it's first september you will not count the september month right okay so now how the calculation will be let's take an example to understand it's really simple let's just say for example uh, the you know the cost of the asset is let's say let's say 100000 okay and the rate of depreciation was 0.15 okay 15% so that is equal to 15000 what is this 15000 this is the annual depreciation but can we charge annual depreciation over here of course not we have the asset only for 5 months yeah we have sold the asset on 1st september so we can charge only proportionate depreciation only 5 months depreciation into 5 divided by 12 that's equal to 6250 so 6250 is the 5 months depreciation which you have to charge is that clear this is the first step you will have to do you understood the calculation really simple calculation after that you will have to calculate return down value book value or carrying value carrying amount whatever you want you can call it that you have to calculate of this asset which you have sold and this value should be of the on the date of sale this value should be on the date of sale is that clear so how will you calculate really simple what was the cost of the machinery or not the cost what was the opening return down value 
opening return down value we assumed it to be 1 lakh 100,000 isn't it and then on that 100,000 we calculated this much proportionate depreciation that was 6250 so this 6250 you need to deduct it from the opening balance of that asset opening balance was 1 lakh we assumed it to be 1 lakh so 1 lakh minus depreciation up to the date of sale we calculated over here depreciation up to the date of sale so just do that 1 lakh yeah 100,000 minus 6250 proportionate depreciation that gives us 93,750 as as what as WDV on date of sale okay can you see that WDV or the carrying amount on the date of sale clear right after this what you have to do you have to calculate how much profit or loss you have made on this sale on the sale or disposal of property plant and equipment how will you do that really simple see what is your book value your book value is this which you just calculated charge the depreciation you know subtract it from the opening balance you will get the book value or the carrying value this 93,750 this you have to compare with the sale value okay for example let's just say you have sold off the asset for 90,000 for 90,000 and the book value is 93,750 so immediately you can understand how much loss you have made. You have made a loss of 3,750 minus 90,000. That's equal to 3,750 loss. Okay. See sales value. If sale value is more than return down value, right? Then it's called as profit. If the sales value is less than return down value, then it's called as loss. And in this case, it was a loss 3,750. Okay. For example, let's just say, you know, uh, the sales value was let's just say one lakh twenty. It will not happen usually. One lakh twenty minus ninety three thousand seven fifty. This is the sales value. This is the book value. So now twenty six thousand two fifty will be your profit. Okay. This is what happens. Is that clear? Simple and straightforward. Here WDV means the book value. Yeah, I already told you now. WDV means the book value or the carrying value after charging the depreciation from beginning of the year to the date of sale. That's proportional depreciation. That's what will always happen. You know, mostly we'll only sell the asset in between the year, not on the beginning of the year or on the, in the closing date. No. So you will always mostly have to calculate proportionate depreciation 5 by 12, 6 by 12, 3 by 12. Okay, you will have to proportionate it depending upon the date of sale. Is that clear? Let's see one more example over here from the ICI study material. See, the book value of the asset as on 1st January 2019 is 50 lakhs. Okay. Depreciation is charged on the asset at 10%. Fine. On 1st July 2019, okay, that's just after how many months? So January, uh, January, February, March, April, May, June. Yeah, only June. Just after six months, you have sold off the asset. For how much? For 32 lakh. Do you understand? You had an asset on 1st January with the return down value with the value of uh, 50 lakhs. Okay. And then just after six months, you have sold off the asset for how much for 32 lakh in such a situation, profit or loss on the sale will be calculated as follows. So see here what will happen. First, you will take the book value 50 lakh first charge what first charge proportionate depreciation. Okay, so here 10% they have said, okay, I think it's straight line method only. So 50 lakh. Okay, into 0 0.10. That's equal to how much? 5 lakh depreciation but can we take this entire 5 lakh depreciation of course not the asset has been sold just after six months right so you have to proportionate this into 6 by 12 so that's equal to 2 lakh 50 so this is the proportionate depreciation you have to charge okay six month depreciation yeah six month depreciation so 50 lakh minus 2 lakh 50 that's equal to 47 lakh 50 thousand that is the return down value as on 1st July return down value on the date of sale is that clear return down value on the date of sale clear easy then what will you do you will compare this return down value on date of sale with the sales value with the sales amount now sales amount is how much 32 lakh so just compare that see here 47 lakh 50 is the book value and 32 lakh is the sales value so if you subtract that yeah if you compare that you can easily understand you have made a big loss over here of 15 lakh 50 thousand isn't it let's just do that once in calculator 47 lakh 50 thousand is the return down value book value carrying value minus the sales value 32 lakh that's equal to 15 lakh 50 thousand loss okay this is the loss
clear simple and straightforward so you understood what you have to do when you you know sell or dispose the ppe first you have to charge the proportionate depreciation properly beginning of the year to the date of sale and then calculate the wdv on date of sale which is really simple just subtract that depreciation from the opening balance and then and then calculate the profit or loss on disposal if sales value is more than wdv that's profit if sales value is less than wdv then you have a loss and what will happen to these profit or losses they will go to profit and loss account they will go to profit and loss account because profit is an income and loss is an expense is that clear simple and straightforward right so now let's understand how the accounting treatment will happen you understood what is the accounting procedure how will how will you calculate but now you have to understand how will you pass the journal entries for this right and what will happen in the ledger accounts also that is what we have to properly understand okay let's do that now see here we have the accounting treatment of disposal or sale of property plan and equipment it's really simple and straightforward you already know that in this depreciation chapter we have two different ways through which we can do the accounting of depreciation isn't it the first one is this basic simple way where we do not maintain provision for depreciation account or you can say we do not maintain accumulated depreciation account and do the accounting of depreciation right the basic way and then we have exactly opposite to this the more sophisticated way where we do maintain provision for depreciation account or accumulated depreciation account right so these two different ways we have and then what will happen is let's just say for example you know you were following this way in your business yeah the basic one and you have sold one of your tangible fixed asset one of your ppe right so what will happen then you will have two more options in this accounting treatment to do the accounting treatment of that sale of ppe you will have two options the first option is you can do that directly accounting treatment directly without opening a temporary account called as asset disposal account without opening this temporary account you can do the accounting treatment directly in the asset account itself and that's the case one okay the case two is you are following this way only under this you will open one more special account special temporary account called as asset disposal account okay and you will do the you know the treatment of that sale of uh, tangible fixed asset in this so that's case two is that clear simple and straightforward right now let's just say for example you are following this way more sophisticated one more practical one where you are maintaining provision for depreciation and accumulated depreciation and you have sold one of your asset one of your tangible fixed asset still here also you will have those two options do you want to open asset disposal account to do the uh, accounting treatment of that disposal of that sale of that tangible fixed asset if you don't want to open then that's case three okay you're following this way you are not opening asset disposal that's case three but if you want to open asset disposal account then that's case four is that clear simple and straightforward okay majorly you have these two accounting treatments only it's just that under this whether you want to open asset disposal or not because of that in this there are two cases and in this also there are two cases regarding this accounting treatment is that clear it's really simple and straightforward i just want to give you an overview so that you will not get confused is that clear but let me tell you in the real life this is not followed only this is followed okay in the real life because it's the most you know sophisticated and the most practical one but what we have to do we have to study everything and understand properly okay right so we'll start with the case one now see here we have case one accounting treatment of disposal of ppe when we are not maintaining provision for depreciation or accumulated depreciation account and we are also not maintaining asset disposal account fine so this is case one so first let's see the journal entries first see the purchase journal entry over here it's the same one asset account debit to bank account clear easy the depreciation journal entry is depreciation account debit to asset account you already know this this entry is usually passed at the year end at 31st march at 31st december isn't it you have to look back see how many has assets you have how long you have them for and charge the depreciation isn't it that's what you do but now here one small change is there what is happening in between the year let's say for example you have sold off the asset let's just say just after five months so what you have to do you know the first thing that you have to do is you have to charge the depreciation from beginning of the year to the date of sale so for this you have to pass a journal entry you have to record the depreciation this journal entry you have to pass okay 
depreciation account debit to asset account five months depreciation you have to take for example if it is five months okay and then in the year end also you'll be passing this entry at the year end also for the rest of the asset which you still have for them of course usually you will pass the entry is that clear okay so let's say for example in between the year you passed a uh, depreciation entry of 1000 1000 rupees and at the year end you passed uh, entry of 9000 rupees fine so 1000 plus 9000 how much total 10000 depreciation you charged in the current year so at the year end what will happen you have to close the depreciation account now it's an expense account you have to close the depreciation account so when you close the depreciation account you have to take not only 1000 or 9000 you have to take 10000 is that clear so profit and loss account debit to depreciation 10000 10000 clear simple right so it's the same thing just one small change was there i explained that to you on disposal you have to charge the depreciation and then what you have to do what is the actual disposal or sale entry this is the entry okay see here what's happening over here you have sold off the asset so of course you have got money right so you have to debit the bank account bank account debit the sale value for example let's just say you have sold for one lakh okay bank account debit one lakh clear easy and then and then what will happen you have to credit the asset account because asset account has debit balance you have sold off the asset you no longer have the asset asset is decreasing yeah you have to decrease the asset in the in the books right so you have to credit the asset account now understand what are the amounts you are going to take the value in bank account you are going to take the sale value how much amount you have got and then in asset account here you will take the return down value after charging this depreciation on disposal for example let's just say let's just say the money which you got from bank account is one lakh okay one lakh you have got and then and then the asset the return down value is let's just say eighty thousand okay eighty thousand so minus eighty thousand so that's equal to twenty thousand twenty thousand is profit twenty thousand is profit so profit will be credited over here why profit will be credited because profit is income it's revenue yeah how do you record them in the books of accounts you have to credit them to profit on disposal they have credit balance but let's just say for example if uh, you know the return down value was let's just say one lakh fifty thousand in that case what will happen you will have a loss fifty thousand so that fifty thousand loss will come over here loss on disposal debit uh, you know fifty thousand is that clear this is how you will do either there will be loss or profit not both clear simple and then yeah which value you are taking over here return on value what is this one lakh fifty thousand this is after charging this depreciation on disposal i explained that to you now see here first you will calculate the depreciation and then this depreciation has to be deducted from what from the opening balance of that asset okay so i let's say for example 1000 is depreciation over here and 81000 is the opening balance so 81000 minus 1000 that's equal to 80000 80000 is the wdv on date of sale so then only you will compare that 80000 with the with the what do you say the sale value and find out profit or loss is that clear that is what you have to do you understood this the general entries now let's understand the ledger accounts it's really simple see here let me show you first see the asset account in asset account you all know opening balance on the debit side closing balance on the credit side it has debit balance right that's why uh, debit means plus credit means minus yeah so now if you have purchased any asset what happens asset increases because you have paid money to bank cost so you always take cost over here and the opening balance is wdv in this case it's always wdv okay right and then depreciation you whatever depreciation you charge it will come over here because asset is decreasing because of depreciation fine two depreciations will be coming over here one on date of disposal and then one at the year end by depreciation 1000 by depreciation 9000 1000 is the uh, depreciation on the date of disposal and then the 9000 depreciation is at the year end okay two depreciations will come fine and then let's just say let's just say there is a profit so if there is a profit profit will come over here if there is a loss loss will come over here okay and you have sold off the asset now that's the main thing that's why what we are understanding over here so when you sell the asset what's the what's the entry bank account was getting debited isn't it bank account was getting debited and asset account was getting credited so asset account is getting credited because of bank okay and here sale value will come 
so this is what you will have to do okay and you have to calculate profit on or loss on disposal and take it like that is that clear simple understood now yeah and then we have depreciation ledger account now depreciation ledger account just do the cross posting see two depreciations have come 1000 and 9000 right 1000 9000 so in total that is 10000 you can just directly take two asset uh, 10000 or take two postings two asset two asset 9000 1000 clear by profit or loss that balance will be transferred to profit or loss isn't it you know that yeah so this was the case one now let's just solve one question on this case one okay is that clear let's just solve one question on this uh, case one so that you will understand this properly now see here we have this illustration 7 from the ICS study material but of our series this is fourth problem okay so now see let's just uh, go through the question and let's understand what is being said over here a firm purchased on 1st January 2018 certain machinery for 5 lakh 82,000 and spent 18,000 on its erection yeah on its installation basically so now what you have to do you all know this 18,000 is directly connected with this purchase with this acquisition so this is directly attributable cost okay so you have to add this with this 5 lakh 82 yeah this 18,000 will become part of the cost this will be capitalized so what will be the cost of this machinery which we have purchased on 1st January it will be 6 lakh so on 1st January 2018 we have purchased a machinery for 6 lakh not 5 lakh 82 is that clear simple on July 1st 2018 okay another machinery for 2 lakh was acquired okay this is 1st January 2018 on 1st July 2018 we have purchased another machinery for 2 lakh clear was acquired okay fine on 1st July 2019 the machinery purchased on 1st January on July 2019 in the next year not in 2018 in the next year the machinery purchased on 1st January this machinery which we have purchased now this machinery on 1st January 2018 having become obsolete having become obsolete was auctioned for 3 lakh 86 thousand basically it was sold this machinery was sold in the next year 1st July 2019 for 3 lakh 86 thousand s yes, it has been sold and on the same date on this date only fresh machinery was purchased yeah new machinery was purchased at a cost of 4 lakhs 400,000 purchase 400,000 clear easy fine depreciation was provided for annually on 31st December okay this is the year end at the rate of 10% per annum on written down value written down value means you know this is written down value method 10% on written down value they have said clear easy required prepare machinery account fine so you understood the question now what is happening over here first we have purchased this machinery on 1st January and then we have purchased another machinery in between the year right so for this machinery we have to charge proportionate depreciation isn't it yes and then you know we have sold the machinery on 1st July 2019 this one and then we have purchased another machinery on the same date and the year end has come right so let's just uh, you know solve this it's really simple see here first what you have to do you cannot directly go into the ledger accounts okay you cannot do that directly whenever you have so many machines always do a timeline so that you will get a clear picture of what's happening in the question clear easy and then just do a working note for this depreciation calculation right so see we have m1 m2 m3 right first we had only m1 so in m1 what happened the cost was 6 lakh isn't it cost was 6 lakh 5 lakh 82 plus 18 the cost was 6 lakh right and then we purchase another machinery for 2 lakh in between the year 17 2018 so now and then year end came 31st December 2018 so on the year end, what do you do you charge the depreciation so let's calculate the depreciation so on 6 lakh you will have to calculate the depreciation first so let's calculate that see here 6 lakh into how many percent the question has told you 10 percent so into 0 0.10 so that's equal to 60,000 do I have to proportionate this 6 by 12 3 by 12 4 by 12 of course not why because this was purchased on the first day and it was there for the entire year and we have reached at the year end so for entire year we have to charge the depreciation entire 60,000 okay so 60,000 will be depreciation now come to the M2 for the machine 2 second machine this machine we purchased on 1st July 2018 so from 1st July till 31st December July August September October November December how many six months isn't it six months so we have to charge six months depreciation on this 
so let's do that 2 lakh is the cost 2 lakh is the cost you all know now in the first year cost is equal to wdv right so 2 lakh into 0 0.10 that's equal to 20000 but this is for the entire year we don't want entire year we have to proportion it into uh, 6 by 12 6 divided by 12 that's equal to 10000 so 10000 will be the depreciation for this m2 clear easy so in the timeline we are here right now in the timeline we are here so just now calculate the return down value 6 lakh minus 60 that's 5 lakh 40 2 lakh minus 10 that's 1 lakh 90 thousand fine yes and then what happened and then see on 1st july 2019 we have sold this machinery 3 lakh 86 okay fine and we have purchased another machinery for 4 lakh another machinery for 4 lakh so open new column m3 4 lakh the cost right 4 lakh okay in this 2018 there was no depreciation for this because we have purchased this in 2019 okay so just you know leave that dash and then depreciation for 2019 go forward here 31st december 2019 year end came okay in the year end you have to charge the depreciation but we haven't done the procedure of what we haven't done the procedure of this sale of uh, ppe disposal of ppe so let's do that first okay so here only we have to charge depreciation on this which machine this machine six lakh machine but what's the return down value of this machine where we'll have this return down value is over here see five lakh forty on five lakh forty you have to calculate the depreciation yeah this first machine value on this date is five lakh forty so on five lakh forty we have to charge the depreciation for how many months is it for entire year no it's only for from first january till first july january february march april may june not july only june so only six months so six month depreciation we have to charge on this machinery is that clear did you understand the logic so five lakh forty see here five lakh forty into zero point ten fifty four thousand this is the entire year depreciation but we don't want that we had the machine only only for six months right whenever you sell the asset what you have to do you have to look from beginning of the year till date of sale beginning of the year till date of sale what was the beginning of the year sorry not this uh, beginning of the year see beginning of the year till date of sale that is what you do okay so beginning of the year is 1st January 2018 date of sale is 1st July okay so that many months you have to consider so that's 6 by 12 6 divided by 12 that's equal to 27,000 so 27,000 depreciation you have to charge for this M1, machine 1. So 5,40 minus 27, that's equal to 5,13,000. Clear? Easy. So now this 5,13,000 is what? This is the value on the date of sale, WDV on the date of sale. What we have done? We have subtracted the depreciation from the opening balance of the asset from 5 lakh 40 we have subtracted the depreciation up to the date of sale 27000 we got 5 lakh 13000 as wdv on the date of sale okay 5 lakh 13 now this this 5 lakh 13 okay this is a wdv okay from this wdv you have to subtract sales proceeds fine so 5 lakh 13 minus sale proceeds i told you now you have to do the comparison how will you do the comparison just subtract okay 5 lakh 13 minus 3 lakh 86 let's see 5 lakh 13 thousand minus 3 lakh 3 lakh 86 thousand that's equal to 1 lakh 27 thousand your book value is 5 lakh 13 you have sold for only 3 lakh 86 so of course you can easily understand 1 lakh 27 thousand is loss clear easy now the disposal procedure is over we charge the depreciation proportional depreciation we calculated the wdv on on the date of sale and then we calculated the profit or loss also the three procedures of disposal are complete right isn't it yes m1 is gone so now come to m2 in m2 you have to charge the 2019 depreciation at the year end at 31st december okay you have to charge the depreciation on the remaining two machines m2 and m3 on m2 m2 you have to charge entire year's depreciation isn't it m2 was purchased over here in the previous year in middle but in this current year of 2019 it was there it was there for the entire year isn't it so that is why the entire year depreciation you will charge that is 1 lakh 90 thousand into 10 percent that's 19 thousand 1 lakh 90 thousand is the return down value over here at the beginning of the year into 0 
that's equal to 19,000. This is return down value method, reducing balance method. Okay, you cannot charge 10% on this 2 lakh. No, on the return down value you will charge. Fine. Okay. Now come to the M3. In M3, what will you do? You will charge on WDV only. Yeah, M3 you have purchased over here. Isn't it in middle of the year in 2019? So you will charge the depreciation from date of purchase till the year end. Always remember this is shortcut. When you purchase the asset now, you have to charge the depreciation from the date of purchase. Yeah, from when the asset was available to use actually. Yeah, but in simple problem, it will be like this only from date of purchase till year end. Okay. Yeah, so 4 lakh into 0 0.10. So that's 40,000, but this is entire year's depreciation. We don't want that. We want proportional depreciation over here from July till 31st December, July, August, September, October, November, December. How many? Six months. Again, six months only. So into six divided by 12, that's equal to 20,000. So 20,000 depreciation you will charge in 2019 for this M3, for this machine three. So four lakh minus 20, that's equal to three lakh 80. Once you have this working note done, then you can easily prepare the machinery account and yeah, depreciation account if they have asked. But here we have to only prepare the machinery account. So let's do that. You all know machinery account is a, a, an account which has debit balance. So opening balance on the debit side, closing balance on the credit side. Fine. Debit means plus, credit means minus. Right. Now here there is no opening balance because here you have purchased the machine in the, you know, in the beginning only. So there is no opening balance. There was no machine before this 2018 machine came into existence in 2018 only on 1st January when you purchased it. So machinery was purchased now. Machinery account is increasing because of the money which you have paid through bank. So two bank account, 5,82,000. Yeah, this was the purchase price. But you also paid for the erection now for the, what do you say, installation, 18,000. So that is also capitalized. So machinery account is getting debited because of that two bank account, 18,000. Or what you could also do was machinery account debit to bank 6 lakh. You can also do it that way. Taking entire everything together and then in bracket over here you can write purchase price plus uh, erection charges. Clear? Easy. And then what you will do in this 2018 what, ha what else happened? In 2018 you purchased another machinery on 1st July right for 2 lakh. So record that machinery is increasing because of bank 2 lakh. Clear? Easy now. We're getting it now. Machinery is increasing because of bank 2 lakh. Easy? Simple. After this, what happened? Nothing happened in this year. The year end came. At the year end, what do you do? Always remember, at the year end, you charge the depreciation on whatever tangible fixed asset you have. So just charge the depreciation. December 31st, buy depreciation. You all know, no? depreciation will directly come over here. When you will solve lots of problems now, immediately everything will come to you. Okay, so you just have to practice a lot. So machinery value is decreasing because of depreciation. 70,000. How did I get the 70,000? It's really simple. Just go back to the working note. In 2018, 60,000 plus 10,000. That's 70,000. Machine 1 depreciation, machine 2 depreciation. Fine. So 70,000. Clear? That's why working note is very important. Okay, do the working note. Always do the working note when you have lots and lots of machines. If you have only one machine, then uh, directly you can do it over here only. But if you have lots and lots of machine, 4 machine, 5 machine, then, you know, working note is must. Fine. After that, what you have to do, you just have to balance 5 lakh 82 plus 18 plus 2 lakh, that's 8 lakh minus 70, that's equal to 7 lakh 30, the closing balance. Okay. Is that clear? Right. Now, this closing balance will become opening balance over here, and this is called as written down value 7 lakh 30,000. You all know now, 2018 December 31st account is closed, and then here it is opened again January 1st to balance brought down 7 lakh 30. Now understand in this 7 lakh 30, what is there? So many machines are there. Okay, 5 lakh 40 plus 1 lakh 90. But you don't know the what do you say the distribution, you don't know the, what is the composition of that. So that is why the working note is very important. Is that clear? That's the problem. Let's just say you have not prepared the working note and you have two machines. How will you come to know? How will you charge a depreciation on this? If you know 10% is the rate of depreciation, you have to calculate it on return on value. How will you calculate? Can you directly calculate over here on 7 lakh 30? No, you cannot. Okay, because some of the machines may have been sold in between the year. So that is why working notice must. Clear? Easy. So this is the opening balance, right? And then what happens? See the timeline. Follow the timeline properly and you know, you'll be good to go. So what's happening then? 
yeah on 1st july we have sold of the machine let's record that 1st july we have sold of the machine right so machinery value is decreasing because of bank by bank account 386000 isn't it that's what happened now we have sold for 386000 but before that what do you have to do before that you have to charge the depreciation or after that also you can do it doesn't matter you will not lose marks so what do you have to do machinery is decreasing because of depreciation what depreciation the depreciation on the date of sale you know now proportionate depreciation we charge how much was that 27000 in 2019 machine one was sold and 27000 was the proportionate depreciation so that you have to record over here machinery value is decreasing because of depreciation on sold machine that sold machine you can write that in the uh, in the bracket just write by depreciation that much is enough 27000 and by bank account is the the sale value you know that right i explained this to you see here by depreciation i told you right on the date of sale and also at the year and also you have to write and then by bank that's the sale value you will take isn't it yes fine and then profit yeah by profit on disposal sorry there is no profit over here there is loss over here right loss of how much one lakh twenty seven thousand now in the in the format what did i tell what did i tell you i told you that if there is a profit you will take it on the debit side if there is a loss you will take it on the credit side right by loss on disposal or to profit on disposal now in this question we have loss so it will come where it will come on the credit side okay it will come on the credit side why 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 understand properly here it is coming on the credit side in the profit and loss it will come on the debit side that's why we are taking it on the credit side is that clear yeah you understood hmm so yeah you can take it over here by loss on disposal or you can directly take it as by profit and loss account okay by profit and loss account if you take over here by loss on disposal then you have to open loss on disposal account also and then transfer the balance to profit and loss okay just directly write by profit and loss account it's okay one lakh twenty seven thousand clear easy and then and then what's happening the year end came right year end came not year end we have purchased another machinery four lakh so record that machinery account is increasing because of the another machinery we have purchased two bank account four lakh on first july isn't it we have purchased now another machinery four lakh so that you will record over here okay machinery account is getting debited because the money which you have paid yeah two bank four lakh clear now the year end came yeah follow the timeline if you follow the timeline you will not be making any mistakes okay so 31st december 2019 year end came you have to charge the depreciation on how many machines you will charge depreciation you will have to look back this machine is gone right so you only have two machines right now machine two and machine three so only on these machines you will charge the depreciation right the calculation is already done so directly just record that okay machinery account is getting decreased because of depreciation by depreciation 39,000 how 39,000 how 39,000 see 19 plus 20 how much is that 19 plus 20 that's equal to 39 39,000 39,000 the depreciation fine after this nothing the timeline is finished all the transaction all the activities are over so you will just close the account okay 7 lakh 30 plus 4 lakh that's equal to 11 lakh 30 write that on both the sides and then just go on deducting okay just go on deducting shall we do that let me just uh, pull that over there yeah uh, 11 lakh 30 minus minus 27,000 minus 3 lakh 86,000 minus 1 lakh 27,000 minus 39,000 that's equal to 5 lakh 51,000 the closing balance that's the closing balance clear understood how you have to do okay this is how you have to do it that is the same working note which i have done over here and shown you yeah right so that's it hmm. this is how you have to solve this problem okay really simple and straightforward this was the case one where we are not maintaining provision for depreciation or accumulated depreciation and we are also not maintaining asset disposal account now we have to understand what will we do when we are maintaining asset disposal account yeah the case two the case two with asset disposal account let's see how it will be happening over there now here we have the case two accounting treatment of disposal of property plan and equipment 
and in this case what happens is we do not maintain provision for depreciation or accumulated depreciation but we open an account called as asset disposal account now what is this asset disposal account it's really simple asset disposal account is just like a trash can it's just like a trash can you want to dispose something something you have to throw then what do you do you don't directly throw it outside of your home no you don't do that you put it in the dustbin right in the trash can and then later next day what do you do you know you take the trash out the garbage truck takes it away right that's what happens similarly here what you will do is whichever asset you want to sell you will just take it into the asset disposal account you will just take it into the asset disposal account and then from asset disposal account you will throw it away you will sell it away is that clear it's just a dustbin it's just a trash can whichever asset you want to dispose of you want to sell just take it over there and then sell it okay that's the concept right so now let's understand the treatment over here now see here the general entries it's really simple the first general entries of the purchase which is exactly same no difference at all asset account debit to bank account right and then you have depreciation entry i have already told you that we will be passing two depreciation entries yeah this is just format basis so i have not shown that separately right the first entry is on the date of disposal regarding the asset which you have disposed you have to charge proportional depreciation depending upon the dates and then at the year end you have to again charge a depreciation on remaining assets the asset which you have not sold is that clear right so that's the thing the same thing right and then at the year end what you have to do you have to transfer this depreciation balance to profit and loss account how do you do that you debit the profit and loss and you credit the depreciation here depreciation was debited you make an equal credit and cancel off the depreciation isn't it yeah i have explained that to you now coming to the disposal entries what will happen i told you asset disposal is just like a trash can it's just a dustbin so what are you going to do is see you have an asset asset has debit balance right so you have to cancel that asset you have to remove that asset and put it in the asset disposal account yeah you have asset account over here you have to remove the value from asset and put it in the asset disposal so what you will do in accounting we we play with debits and credits so asset account has debit balance right so to decrease it you will credit that and asset disposal also has debit balance so to increase this to put value in asset disposal to put something in the trash can you will increase this right so you will have to debit this is that clear so understand what will be happening is see the general entry disposal two entries you will pass asset disposal account debit asset disposal account debit to asset account so here what's happening understand properly asset disposal account is increasing yeah so it is being debited it has debit balance an asset account is getting credited why you're decreasing the value in the asset okay so this general entry you will pass in this entry what you have done you have taken the asset from asset account and you have thrown it in the asset disposal and what will be the amount over here it will be written down value the value after charging the proportionate depreciation okay which value is that which value is that see this value first you will charge the depreciation now after charging the depreciation that depreciation you deducted from the opening balance of the asset yes then whatever wdv you get this wdv you have to take over here okay so you have to take the asset in asset disposal account at the wdv clear simple and then you have to pass the next entry which is the actual disposal or sale entry what will happen over here the same thing yeah let me just show you that first case accounting treatment in the first case accounting treatment what happened you just pass this entry now this is the first case see your first case so what happened in the first case bank account to asset account yeah bank account debit to asset account isn't it and then whatever difference came that was loss or profit on disposal the same logic is there over here but but there is no longer asset over here it is asset disposal account because you have already cancelled the asset now you have already taken the asset and thrown it in the asset disposal isn't it so value is there in asset disposal so when you will sell off the asset you will sell it from the asset disposal account clear so that is why the general entry will be like this bank account debit the sale value whatever money you have got to asset disposal wdv you are going to take the same amount which will be there over here to asset disposal account wdv 
Is that clear? And then whatever difference is there between sale value and WDV, that will be either loss or profit. Okay. If sale value is more than WDV, then that's profit. If sale value is less than WDV, then that's loss on disposal. Simple, right? Now let's understand the ledger accounts. It's really simple. See the first asset account over here, the same thing. It has debit balance. Debit means plus, credit means minus. Yeah, opening balance on the debit side, it will be WDV, you know that. Closing balance on the credit side, yes. And then you will you charge the depreciation on the credit side over here by depreciation. Now understand, two time depreciation will be charged over here, not only once, isn't it? One is the depreciation on the date of disposal and then the year end depreciation on the remaining of the assets. Clear? Simple. And then if you have purchased any new asset, any new part of the asset, then it will come over here. Asset account debit to bank. Yeah, purchase of the asset, isn't it? And that will be at the cost because you all know, always you have to recognize the PPE, the tangible fixed asset at cost. So it will always be at cost. Yes, that's the same thing. Oh, everything is same. It's just that here what will happen when you sell the asset, when you sell the asset, you will charge the proportionate depreciation over here. Okay, this entry. Yeah, you will charge the proportionate depreciation over here by depreciation. Yes, but then you will not take bank account over here as you did in the case one. In the case one, what did you do? In the case one, if you remember, you took bank account over here. Isn't it? Buy bank sale value. This you will not do over here. Here, you will take the return down value of the asset to asset disposal account. How that will happen? I told you, asset account will be getting credited because of asset disposal. Asset account is getting credited because of asset disposal. Yeah, asset account credit because of asset disposal. So asset is reducing and the value is going to asset disposal. You understand the logic? Yes. And the amount would be WDV after, you know, deducting this depreciation. Fine. You get that. And the closing balance, you know, so that, you know, you will tally the asset account. Fine. You will balance it out. And then you have asset disposal account. Asset disposal account has debit balance. Why it has debit balance? It's just a temporary account. Why are you saying that it has debit balance? See, it's really simple. This account is created by a debit actually. See here. First journal entry for asset disposal is this. And what's happening over here? Asset disposal account is getting debited. Isn't it? So that's why it has debit balance. Okay. So uh, the cross postings you will do. See, see in the asset account, asset disposal is there on the credit side, right? So here will be on the debit side to asset. Yeah, because it's asset account now. So to asset, you will take the same amount. Okay. Is that clear? Asset disposal account is increasing because of asset. Okay, the value has come in WDV and then you will sell this asset. When you sell the asset, asset disposal will be decreasing. I told you now it's just a dustbin, it's just a trash can. First, you know, asset came in over here and then the garbage truck came, you gave away the asset. Okay, you sold away the asset. Is that clear? So buy bank because money is coming in now when you sell the uh, asset. So asset disposal credit because of bank, buy bank and the amount will be sale value. Now, whatever difference will be there, whatever difference will be there, that will be either profit on disposal or loss on disposal. So if you see carefully what's happening over here, what's happening? It's almost similar only. It's just that in the case one, sale, profit or loss all used to happen in the asset account only. Asset account used to look very messy, isn't it? Very congested. Now what happened? We updated it. We created a separate temporary account to just deal with the disposal of PPE. That's why it's called as asset disposal account. Is that clear? So that's what fine. So these entries, these postings, loss on disposal or profit on disposal or this buy bank, all these have gone in the asset disposal account. That's all the differences clear difference between WDV and SV sales value. That would be either profit or loss on disposal. Fine. And the depreciation account is exactly same. There is no difference at all. Yeah, it's exactly same as you can see over here to asset by profit and loss. Yeah, depreciation will be first recorded. Yeah, because of the decrease in asset and then that balance will flow into profit and loss. Depreciation account will be closed. There will not be any balance. Is that clear? That's what happens. Same thing in the case two also. So you understand in the case two what you have to do. You just have to, you know, take the asset into the asset disposal at WDV and then sell it off and then compare and see profit or loss. Fine. 
so now you understood the accounting treatment let's just see one problem on this now see here we have this simple problem to understand how you have to solve the case 2 accounting treatment of disposal or sale of property plan and equipment when you are not maintaining provision for depreciation or accumulated depreciation account but you would like to open asset disposal account that's case 2 right so this problem is based on case 2 and this is our fifth problem so let's just go through the question let's understand how it will be solved it's really simple and straightforward okay let's see Ajay Brothers purchased a plant on 1st April 2020 for 7 lakh rupees, right? Depreciation is charged at 10% per annum on the original cost. Okay, that's straight line method. Yeah. On 1st January 2022, okay, in the next year, right? On 1st January 2022, the plant was found unsuitable and sold for 4 lakh 20,000. So here we have only one machinery. It has been purchased and in the next year it has been sold so it's a simple problem just to make you understand how you have to do this okay prepare the plant account depreciation account and plant disposal account if depreciation is charged charged to plant account now see with this sentence you can understand that here you have to prepare plant disposal account the question is asking you that right it's the requirement and the question is also telling you that you don't need to open provision for depreciation or accumulated depreciation so you can understand it's falling in this category question is asking for asset disposal so it's case two is that clear and then the question also says the accounts are closed on 31st march every year so this is the year ending date the books are closed on this date 31st march fine so let's begin first what we have to do first we'll make a timeline to make you understand properly okay so see the timeline over here i've already prepared this 1st april 2020 we have purchased a plant a machinery for 7 lakh as said in the question purchased a plant for 7 lakh on 1st april 2020 and you have to understand 1st april is the opening date isn't it closing date is 31st march now so 1st april is the opening date if 1st april is opening date then you have to remember that on this machinery you will charge entire year depreciation entire 12 months depreciation at the year end is that clear right and then what happened in the question in the question they have directly moved to 1st january 2022 so you have to see in the timeline where is that that's coming in the next year you see 1st april 2020 and then the year will end on 31st march 2021 do not be confused with dates it's really simple 1st april 2020 is the opening date just after 12 months is 31st march 2021 isn't it yes so at the year what you have to do before going there think about the year and what do you do on year end on year end you charge the depreciation right so you have to charge the depreciation on this machinery you have to look back and see how many machines do i have which method am i following yeah what is the rate yeah all these questions you have to ask for yourself yeah for how long did i have this machine for so you have this machine for the entire year yeah since the beginning so that is why you will calculate the depreciation uh, on you know for the entire year 7 lakh is the original cost because here we have slm 7 lakh into 0 0.10 that's equal to 70000 yes so 70000 is the depreciation clear easy you understood now yes and then let's come to this second year now in second year we know according to the question on 1st january 2022 we have sold this machine for 4 lakh 20000 right 4 lakh 20000 clear and then nothing else happened nothing else happened and then the year end will come the year end will be 31st march 2022 and at the year end what you will charge the depreciation no of course not there is no machine right yes so let's begin now the solution see here plant account debit balance right opening balance on the debit side closing balance on the credit side you all know so first what happened we purchased the plant so plant is increasing because of the money which you paid through the bank to bank account 7 lakh isn't it plus minus you know huh? yeah mm -hmm. right so that's what happened we purchased the plant and then what happened the year end at the year end you have to charge the depreciation we calculated it was uh you know seven lakh into ten percent that was uh, just seventy thousand yeah so seventy thousand depreciation plant is decreasing because of depreciation seventy thousand and this happened on 2021 march 31st now don't be confused it's really simple this is the opening date this is the closing date it's the same year don't think this is different this is different no it's in the same financial year is that clear 
right so once that happened then nothing else is there in this year nothing else happened right that's all so you have to close the asset account that means you have to balance the asset account and take the balance right the closing balance so see 7 lakh on both the sides in the total then 7 lakh minus 70 that's equal to 6 lakh 30 thousand so 6 lakh 30 thousand is the closing balance which will be opening balance in the next year the next year means 2021 first april yeah so two balance b by d brought down 6 lakh 30 and then what you have to do what you have done in the next year you have sold off the asset on 1st january 2022 so if you have sold off the asset then you know three steps you have to follow first charge the proportionate depreciation calculate the wdv right calculate the wdv and then calculate the profit or loss by comparing the sale value with wdv right so that procedure we have to follow let's follow that okay so see come to the plant account right so in plant account first we'll charge the proportionate depreciation see plant is decreasing because of depreciation by depreciation but how did we get this 52,500 what's the logic you all know we have to calculate proportionate depreciation right and this is SLM method so you will take s you know original cost only not written down value over here original cost only 7 lakh only into 0 0.10 that's equal to 70,000 this is annual depreciation but here we need to charge proportionate depreciation because the asset has been sold in between the year what was the shortcut the shortcut is from beginning of the year till the date of sale from beginning of the year till date of sale so from 1st april yeah 31st march or 1st april is the same thing 1st april till what till 1st january so april may june july august september october november december right will not take january because it's 1st january so that's nine months right so nine months depreciation you will have to charge is that clear so just uh, proportionate into 9 divided by 12 that's equal to 52,500 okay so 52,500 by depreciation you have charged the depreciation on your plant which you have disposed of is that clear and then since there is no other part of the asset over here the entire machine is only sold there is no other asset so there will not be any closing balance over here there will not be any closing balance but normally there will be if you'll see the full-fledged problems there will be this is just a simple problem only one machine but there will be lots and lots of machines in only one account so there will be closing balance over here since there is no closing balance then whatever is left that will be what wdv now see let me just explain to you what do i mean 52500 is the depreciation right and the w the wdv of the asset was the book value was 6 lakh 30 6 lakh 30 minus 52500 yeah 52500 that's equal to 5,77,500 this is the book value carrying value written down value after charging this proportionate depreciation after charging the proportionate depreciation okay this part what do you do with that you compare that with the you compare that with the sales value and calculate profit or loss you all know that but since here since here we are not doing that in the asset account we are opening asset disposal account in asset disposal what do we do we take that wdv yeah from asset to asset disposal right so that is why what we have to do we have to decrease the plant account we have to reduce the plant account by that amount by wdv 5,77,500 by plant disposal or by asset disposal account is that clear 5,77,000 i explained to you now how did we get that 6 lakh 30 minus 52,500 that's equal to 5 lakh 77,500 is that clear you understood this by plant disposal now here it will tally out there will not be any balance left in the plant account because entire thing has been sold and there is no other component or part of the asset left clear easy right yeah so you understood that so now let's see the plant disposal account in plant disposal account what will happen see the format first just recap the format in asset disposal first asset will come on the debit side first asset will come on the debit side and then it will be sold over here it will be sold over here at the sale value see asset will come over here to plant account 5,77,500 5,77,500 and then it will be sold off by bank account 4,20,000 you know in the question we know it was sold for 4,20 yeah you have got the money by bank account 4,20,000 is it clear simple and then what you have to do you have to do the comparison see the book value was this five lakh seventy seven thousand five hundred 
this is your carrying amount book value written down value of the asset which you have sold off how much money did you get 4 lakh 20 so just do the calculation 577 500 minus minus 4 lakh 20 4 lakh 20 that's equal to 1,57,500 which is a loss on sale of plan. Immediately you can understand now nah, this is the value this is the money you got you have made a loss okay so the loss will come over here loss on sale of plant and then you know actually you have to open a separate account of loss on sale of plant and there you have to transfer this to profit and loss account or what you can also do is directly write over here by profit and loss account 1,57,500 clear and then depreciation account is really simple what do you do with depreciation account it's nothing just see the asset account two time depreciation has come depreciation depreciation march 31st 2021 and january 1st 2022 yeah isn't it yes 70000 52500 that will come over here 70000 52500 and then transfer them to profit and loss clear simple and straightforward okay there was nothing over here it's really simple right so that's it for this video if you have any doubts in this then please comment down below or you know message me in instagram it's really simple okay right so that's it okay see you in the next video bye